this video we have fun because uh, I'll contour with uh, eyebrow shadows by Creolan. It's the same shadow that she's wearing on her brows now. And I'll use this because it's between grey and brown. And if you think about it, shadow is grey. Therefore this will look cool. You can, you know, contour with whatever you like, bronzer, you can powder, cream, I show you loads of techniques. Anyway, this is a round face, so I need to slim it down somehow. One option is that I just contour this cheekbone here and I pull it towards her mouth. But also, because she's wearing her hair down, I can just apply contour on this part of her face and rub it in jawline here so because this is what will slim the face and um, I'm using a very thick brush there the gradient be really soft I'll also be applying a bit more color so you girls see how to do it otherwise you just wouldn't because the camera takes all the lighting so look just this part I'll brush it in and I pull it here in the hairline. This is a whole part that I actually contour. Same with this part of a face. I use more precise brush now, and it goes here down. Look, just this part here. This is all, and then rub it in, brush it in, in a jawline, in the ears. There mustn't be any any hard gradient brush it in the hairline it needs to look natural remember girls this is a very subtle application be careful with this because otherwise you look crazy now this part of a face here is the part that is most on this side so because it's round therefore if I apply my jaw my, my cheek bone like I call it uh, if I apply it here down, contour, I would actually, you know, pull the face more down like this and it would be oval and even rounder. Therefore, I need to start it from here because if this part will be dark, it will push it in. So, I go on this part, but I drive it towards her mouth. Because if I drive it towards the mouth, it will prolongate her face make it still longer and more narrow and I dip my brush in again I, th this is a stronger application that you girls see usually we would apply a highlighter here but you see now how, how it pulls the face already already more it makes it more narrow down 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 and it's in a triangular shape here and I don't rub it in where otherwise I would put the contour. I actually went on the upper part of a normal cheek contour. I turned the light more down, so the same I'll be able to do on this part of the face. And it looks really strong because the foundation is radiant. This is a powder that's matte and it just doesn't bounce light. Therefore, I think contouring and highlighting is the best when you work with radiant foundation and then powder is over. Same thing, look, I go on her, I go on her cheekbone, but I brush it towards her mouth, down. Put the brush in again, and with slight movements, I go down. This is my contour. 